Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we actually got a pretty cool SBC release today for the price value that you're actually getting. I gotta say that right off the bat uh, because this card is like 160k, 170k for really good stats with specific things that are on the card that are actually really nice. So we're going to be taking a look at the new Nuri Sahin flashback card, okay? Got to give a big thank you to my boy Scruffy, obviously with his god tier Bundesliga teams, helping me out with these reviews, as well as some other people who helped me out with the reviews as well. You guys are a great help, and I really appreciate it. So with Nuri Sahin's flashback card, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at someone who is 5'11", with medium-medium work rates, left-footed with a four-star weak foot. So guys, we're starting off really nicely so far on the card, okay? Because being medium, medium work rated, right? As well as the four-star weak foot, this card is already telling me, oh, please play me in the left center defenseman position or the left center mid position. Having a left-footed player with a four-star weak foot is a very big thing. Now, he has 90 base card stats for dribbling, so is the dribbling good enough with the height that he has? He has 84 acceleration with 72 sprint speed. So the sprint speed is going to be at 82, but the important thing here with these types of cards is the fact that he has higher acceleration with the sprint speed being at 82. Obviously, when it comes to defending and general movement, you need him to be able to accelerate quickly into certain spaces, whether that's transitioning left and right defensively with his height and his body type in game, or getting into a better position attacking wise, accelerate into certain spaces so that he can score some opportunities. Now, I think that this card for me, by the stats, looks ideal on a stay back while attacking cover center tactic, but we're gonna be trying out a few different things with this card, obviously, as we roll with him. Um, attacking positioning is at 80, so I wanna see if that actually translates into the game on balance instructions. We're gonna see how attacking oriented he is. He has 73 finishing but with 99 shot power. Sometimes with cards that have low finishing, the 99 shot power is so incredibly helpful because he also has the long shots as well. So this card could be the type of dude that pops in some, pops in some great long shots from certain spaces as well. So if you get that bounce touch, right, from the first initial touch and you have him on his left foot, he might take a banger for you, right? Passing stats, absolutely brilliant. Don't even need to take a look at that. The dribbling is going to be very, very interesting to review because of the fact that his agility balance, three main dribbling stats, and 96 composure all looks incredible, right? Defending stats. Uh, with the shadow chemistry style, you are significantly improving a lot of defensive areas. And his base card stats for some of these, uh, for some of these stats as well are actually very nice. Having 87 defensive awareness on that medium-medium work rate, on that stay back while attacking cover center, it looks very, very ideal, okay? He has 99 interception. That, with the 5'11 height that he has, the body type that he has in game, because I don't think he's a skinny player. I think he has, like, a bigger body type. Um, Stein tackles at 89 with the shadow chemistry style. Stein tackles to be essentially perfect. And then, obviously, with his physical stats already being good as it is, the shadow chemistry style just looks like it's perfect for this card. In regards to traits, we're looking at injury prone. Take it out of the game, EA. No one cares about this. Finesse shot trait, which is actually very, very helpful. So here's a great thing about this. Finesse shot trait, you can actually use him in the right center, right center defenseman position if you want to go for those because of the fact that he has the four-star weak foot. So he can make those outside passes to the sides if he really needs to. So... It looks like a really good card for 170k. Like there's there's quality everywhere on this card, right? In all fairness, would I do the card myself? Uh, not necessarily, because I'm not really going for Bundesliga and all that kind of stuff. But obviously, if the game was set up a certain way, this card looks really really good, right? But you guys know how I play FIFA with sentimental value, Liga Noge, Portuguese. That's the only reason why I wouldn't do it. But generally speaking, quality wise, what he offers in game, even for the meta concept, he looks really good. Now we're going to see how he performs in game. Hopefully he doesn't disappoint me like crazy. In regards to the tactics, guys, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 basic instructions. So I'll show you guys exactly how it's going to align. You know what? We'll use pressure on heavy touch, actually, with 5 and 5 for balance. We're going to initially start off the card on balance instructions only on cover center. So we're going to go ahead and switch him instructions-wise to only be... On balance, cover center, I want to see what he's like pushing up the field, going around players, how he works with the high, high work rate of player. I want to see how they work together when none of them are on stay back while tagging. Because this Joshua Kimmich card is actually very, very good. I did a review on him when he first came out, and I really enjoyed using the card. So this should all be very interesting with the balance between these two CDMs on the pressure on heavy touch. So we're going to get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he doesn't disappoint. 
All right, so we're going to start off with our defensive tactics. Let's go see. Oh, see, he's 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 pretty big in game. He kind of has... Oh, his dribbling is actually really responsive for a midfielder. Okay. Those three main dribbling stats with that agility and bounce is actually quite nice. Moves into the empty space really nicely there, too. That part right there, having that, having that left foot on the left side, man. I just love that, dude. I love that so much. All right, positions himself well with the balance instructions. I'm liking it so far. We're going to force a run out of him right here, actually. Okay. Oh, transitions back into position really quickly. Nice. Timo Warner with the near post strike. Nice little goal right there. I'm really liking his movement on the balance instruction so far with just the cover center. He's moving really, really nicely. His agility and balance for transitioning is actually very solid. Like, I make that tackle instantly, I can go back into the play quickly. That's very important. Positions himself well again after the defensive play we do there. Wow, he did so well right there. Yo, his dribbling actually feels incredible. For a CDM, it feels really, really nice. I kind of want to get the angle right here for that near post long shot right there. Those angles are not necessarily the best to actually take those types of shots, but I do want to test all the different types that he could potentially do, right? Okay, no second man press right here. Let's see how he's marking the player on balance instructions without the cut passing lanes. He seems to position himself really nicely so far. It might be ideal to actually put him... I, I think the stay back while attacking on him would be brilliant. Great first touch right there as well. I'm liking this card a lot so far, dudes. Look at that dribbling, dude. It's actually so nice. Like, his composure on the ball is super noticeable as well, too. Like, any sort of pressure, he doesn't really... It doesn't feel like he feels that pressure, which is obviously fantastic, right? How's he position himself in the attacking third? You can see that he's more defensive-oriented, too. So, like I said, guys, this card on that stay back while attacking is going to be super ideal. Touch, shot across goal. Actually very solid without a bounce touch on the ball. Not a lot of momentum to, to carry on with the long shot as well. He still does really well there. Those aren't the ideal long shots to do, right? So See the way he's positioned right there? More defensive oriented. He's balanced instructions right now, right? And with the balanced instructions, you can see what his characteristics mostly are right it's kind of like a flashback vidal situation where even though he's a high high worker to player he's still a defensive oriented one right good rotation policy there with him and kimmich kimmich chimic kimmich <laughs> just want to see what his positioning is like here yeah so you see the low attacking positioning at 80 it's really really good for the characteristics that he has because look he's not aggressive at all look kimmich is pushing up a little bit sahin stays back Let's try a finesse shot from this angle. You can see it's very powerful and crisp with it. Always positions himself well from the defensive area onto the attacking area. Yeah, so you could definitely tell inst uh, instantly that he's not going to be like this crazy attacking threat unless you tell him to on the balance instruction, which, to be honest, for my playstyle, it works out perfectly. I just, I like when players move that way in the defensive mid area. Um, and then I have the other one to be a little bit more attacking oriented if it's required. So, I mean, he's he's really well balanced in the team so far. I'm liking it a lot. The way he positions himself without second man press or anything. Look, the way he's marking the player to stay on the edge of that 18 yard box. Very, very important. And it's just good characteristics to have for a player. Um, so, obviously with the balance instructions, I'm liking it. I'm going to go ahead and try him, right, on... Balance instructions with cut passing lanes. I want to see what he's like with those instructions on the pressure on heavy touch. See, look at that. Look at Sahin, the way that he's positioning himself, marking the player constantly more in a defensive area, right? In this situation right here, you obviously need to switch the player to defend those areas. So he's not going to aggressively push back like crazy in those situations. But his defensive awareness is actually quite nice. I actually feel like the cut passing lane instruction on him is going gonna, is gonna to feel pretty decent. 
So obviously very noticeable thing as well. So because he has the 80 stamina and we're kind of forcing the play a little bit with him, his stamina gets depleted quickly. But like I said, guys, the 80 stamina will work out perfectly for this card because he's a more defensive oriented midfielder in that CDM position. Because his dribbling is actually very solid as well, I do believe he could make a good center mid, but a center mid on balance instructions that's, that's not too attacking because obviously because of his attacking uh, 80 attacking positioning, it's really mostly ideal to use him in a CDM position. He could actually potentially play a lone CDM position really nicely too, which is very, very interesting. Forgot to change the instruction on him, but um, yeah, I mostly see him as a CDM so far, but definitely a usable center mid as well. It's just the instructions for the aggressive attacks with the CDM position, probably not necessarily ideal. So we're going to have Kimmich to stay back while attacking since his characteristics are more attacking oriented but we're going to have Sahin on cut passing lanes with the balance instructions playing off of the pressure on heavy touch now we're going to see how he plays with those instructions you can see on the radar he's a little bit more aggressive in regards to defending certain areas but look at how he lingers around uh your 18 yard box in the middle you see that right here Cut pass lanes, cutting out, cutting out that one dude over there. If I'm controlling Kimmich in this situation, I'm just blocking the top right there, right? So the cut passing lane instruction looks to be a very good addition to the card. I need to see what it's like when my opponent attacks against me and how he's going backwards, though. It's going to be very, very important to check that out. Again, positions himself brilliantly in the attacking areas for me to transition forward. Again, not attacking oriented. You see the way he's positioning himself? I'm going to try a long shot from here. Not bad. Those are not the ideal long shots. He's coming off of a touch facing downwards. You want to try to get the touch where he's facing directly at the net, but the ball bounces forward, right? That's the ones you want to get for those long shots. So I tried an angled one there, but you want to try the ones where you aim straight with that small bounce, pa uh, bounce touch there. Look at his defensive positions right here. Look at the cut passing lanes. Look how he's playing in the, in the middle of the area. You see? Look at the bounce that he has with him and Kimmich. Aggressive right there. You see the cup passing lanes kind of playing into effect a little bit right there? Could be an ideal instruction to give him for sure. That's the finesse shot you're looking for. That finesse shot tray, you see how he's positioned himself in the right center defenseman position? Those are the positions you may want to use him in just because of that finesse shot trait. So it could be really, really ideal to use him on the right side instead of the left side just for that specific trade, just in case someone is uh, parking the bus. You can see that I just need that 90 degree angle just to finesse it across the goal and he scores a great opportunity right there. Nice pass there, Asahin. How does he move here? You can see his attacking positioning very noticeably like not that great, right? But again, the stay back while attacking is going to be an ideal instruction for this card for sure. You can see that's his characteristics right off the bat, you know? But if he does attack and he does get into some attacking areas, he'll definitely offer you this, this great like dribbling presence, this shooting presence, right? Just going to get that angle right there. Nice little finesse shot again. So... He's just a very, very well-balanced player in the team. I'm noticing that a lot, right? But the stamina being depleted quickly, you can even see in that screen right there, very, very noticeable thing. So again, stay back while attacking cover center looks to be the most ideal situation for this card, potentially even with a cut passing lane on him. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Nuri Sahin card, 125k. Yo, like, this is really cheap. This is really, really cheap for the quality that you're getting in game. That's a really, really cheap price. I'm telling you guys this right now, it's very, very cheap. If you're gonna be using this card in your team, I highly recommend you use them in a 4-2-3-1 setup, potentially as your left center defensive mid, but take into consideration that on the right side, it could be very ideal for that finesse shot trait that he has because you have to take into consideration the fact that he has 73 finishing with 99 shot power 91 long shots and 96 composure so that finesse shot trait in that right position right the right sided position could be very very ideal for someone who's really parking that bus having that finesse shot trait is a very big thing with this card now 
The dribbling with the card, very good. I thought it was going to be a little bit sluggish considering the fact that he's a little tall, right? 5'11", could have been affected a little bit. It's not. The dribbling is actually very, very responsive. The acceleration boost that you give him with the Shadow Chemistry style to a 99, very, very significant as well. And the defensive boosts that you give this card as well with the Shadow Chemistry style are also very, very significant. So guys... You're looking at a very good SBC. The price is fantastic. The quality that you're getting in game is great. The only real downside of this card, considering all things taken into consideration, right? 80 stamina is the only thing that's a letdown. But, but, I only recommend using this card on the stay back while attacking cover center instructions with a medium high worker player next to him. I have, I have like better than Bakayoko vibes from this card, right? But in the right team, you have to use him in the right team to fully utilize this card because guys, he plays really nicely in game. I really enjoyed my time using this card. If he plays next to someone like Lauren Blanc and Lauren Blanc's on cover center, stay back while attacking, and then you're using Nuri Sahin as a cup passing lane, uh, stay back while attacking cover center player. I'm telling you guys, you guys, you guys are going to see this very, very good balance between the two, and you're going to actually notice that it's going to be really, really fun. So, like I said, you could use him on the right side because that finesse shot trade is very noticeable, but he does also have those long shots you can shoot across goal if you get that straight touch where he like kind of bounces the ball a little bit, right? So. A lot of things to take into consideration. Don't expect him to be an attacking presence. Like I said, stay back while attacking cover center is the most ideal instruction to give this card. Could also be very usable in center mid position, but don't expect a super attacking oriented center mid. He's very, very defensive oriented, even with his medium, medium work rate. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. You should probably do the card if you have the money. It's actually worth it, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.